Marina and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different just because I've never done a DIY video on my channel. So let's start. So yesterday I got these gifts from TikTok, which are right here. There are more of them. I don't know where they went. But anyways, one of the gifts were these tie dyes. And today I decided that I want to do a tie dye tutorial. So I actually wanted to say hi. And by the way, my brother is going to be helping me set everything up outside. Yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the cute little setup that I got over here. So I'm going to just take this right now and actually read the instructions because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so the sun was horrible, so here we go. I'm opening this box up. We have the rubber bands. And then we have some gloves, which I actually need. Let me put them on right now. Okay, so what do we have next? Oh, we have some soda ash dye fixer. Don't know why we need that. And then, ooh, we have three dyes over here. So we have the red, the blue, and the yellow. Does it have dyes inside? It does! It has like powder inside or something. And then we have the instructions, which we all need. Okay, English, yes. Please read all instructions before you begin. No. Prepare your work area by spreading drop Okay, no. Add packet of soda ash into a bucket filled with about two gallons of hot tap water. And right here, I realized that this video was a lot of work. Okay, so what I know is I need a container and I need to mix this with hot tap water and put my shirts inside of that and then let it sit for 20 minutes. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna maybe let it sit for like two minutes. Hot water. So I got a tub of hot water over here and now I need this soda. Ooh. Pour it all in apparently. I actually don't know how much I had to pour in, but like I'm doing it all. Ooh. And then I have to go like that. Wait, let me do it this way. It's easier. Yeah. Okay. I feel like a witch. Okay. Then I have this shirt that I don't even wear anymore, and I actually don't even know if I ever wore it before. So we're gonna put it in. Ah, that was hot. And then I have this hoodie which I'm also putting in. I actually loved that hoodie like three years ago. So I have to leave it for like 20 minutes, but I'm not gonna do it just because I'm really impatient. That's how it looks so far, so I'm gonna let it sit for like a minute, and then we're gonna start tie-dyeing. It's a little windy today, so I'm gonna take my hair up because I don't want it to get in the way. So while this is preparing, I'm actually gonna be putting some warm water into these dyes. I did not read how much water I need, but I'm guessing it's the whole thing because the containers aren't that big. So, boom, boom, <gasps> that's pretty. My hands are shaking. <laughs> Shaky, shaky, shaky. Okay guys, so I took these out and um, now I'm gonna be dying them. So I've got my shirt over here. I'm gonna put it down and I also got a fork to help me actually like twist it. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. I go in the middle, bam, 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 out, bam. And it's pretty much done. Anyways, I got these rubber bands over here. I'm actually not using the ones they come up with because they're actually pretty small. So I'm using my own. So I just go like that. Okay, so this is what I came up with. Cute. I'm gonna guys bring you over here just so you guys can see everything. I zoomed this in just because I wanna be one of those DIY people that actually show everything up close. So how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna go yellow, red, and blue. I think that's the pattern that everyone does it with. So I'm opening them up and then I'll just go, I think, like that. Ooh, pretty. And then I go red. Uh-oh, I got a drip of red on the yellow side. It's okay. And then I go blue. We go blue. Blue is pretty as well. Oh my God. Ooh, we're gonna get a cute little green color, I think, from this. See? So what I know is we also have to turn this over and do the same thing on this side. So this is yellow. Just gonna keep doing this, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So this is how it turned out. Okay guys, so I managed to actually do everything right now. So I got um, my shirt done and I also did my hoodie that I showed you guys before, but I did it off camera because that would be boring if I just put the same exact thing twice. I managed not to get myself dirty, which is good. And actually I have to wait like 24 hours before um, washing them and drying them. So guys, I'll actually transition to the next day right now. Hey guys, ooh, no. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm here with my tie-dyes and I hope they worked out. We'll see in a second. Okay guys, here's the moment of truth. Um, we're gonna open this up and see what it turned out. How it turned out. Bam! <laughs> that is insane! Oh my god! Like, this is an old shirt, you guys. So I also already opened up the hoodie, and this is how it looks. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. So I'm gonna go wash and dry them, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, before actually putting them in the washer and dryer, I decided to soak them in really, really cold water. And after this, I'm actually gonna wash and dry them. Okay guys, they're washed and dried. So now I'm gonna be doing a little try on haul for you guys so you see how they look on me. So this is the end of the video guys. Actually, I expected the white color to turn out white, but it kind of washed out and it's like light pink now. But it's okay, I still love it and I'll wear them again. I literally have not worn any of them for like four or five years. But now they have a new life. Anyways guys, if you like this video, give it a like, share it, comment and stuff and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys still don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram, there are down below at Romina Gafour. So go and check me out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.